الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبت في الله We've mentioned countless narrations of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and ahadith and ayat of Qur'aniyya about the dangers of the dunya and that the dunya can be deceptive and its deception one of the greatest deceptions of the dunya is when it deceives you into leaving Allah Azza wa Jal to being far away from Allah Azza wa Jal and it doesn't happen usually in one simple event but it's a constant corruption of the heart which leads to maybe even leaving the religion for something of the dunya in fact this brings to mind I saw yesterday a few minutes of a program on uh, BBC News and it was about Iranians, Iranian refugees seeking asylum in uh, the Netherlands or, or somewhere in uh, not Sweden but one of the countries like Norway, I believe it was Nor Norway and they were coming and there was a few getting baptized and they were originally probably Shia, but the point is, there, there's stories of countless Afghanis, Syrians, and others who for the dunya, because they believe it will make it easier for their case to get asylum, to say that they're oppressing their land and if they return as the, with their new, newly adopted faith Christianity, that they will be rejected their asylum. They will lose what they believe they will gain in the dunya there in Europe. And a lot of these people are not the poorest of the poor who made that journey. They had money to do it. Meaning that they were not the people in the worst of conditions, but they were willing to sell their religion for asylum. This brings to mind the dangers, the corruption, and the deviation of the dunya. That it can make you so distracted that you leave Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at least, at a minimum, it can distract you to where you're doing major sin and you believe and you begin to accept those, that wicked sinfulness. This does not negate a habit of Allah enjoying your time in the dunya. That doesn't mean you should go around hating the world, hating the dunya, hating the luxury of this dunya, if it makes it easier for you to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you enjoy nice cars, if you enjoy uh, a nice vehicle, uh, whatever the case may be, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about making your heart, as the ulama explained, having your uh, heart attached to those things. It's when those things make you or break you. Those things deceive you to such an extent that it corrupts you in your faith and it destroys you. And it causes you to leave and become far from Allah and may Allah protect us from it. In a hadith on Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala an, Qala Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Inna mimma akhafu alaykum min ba'di. ما يفتح عليكم من زهرة الدنيا وزينتها متفق عليه. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said that verily what I fear for you the most after me is that the dunya will become accessible to you. It will open up for you. Meaning you'll be you'll open up. You'll gain wealth. You'll gain Property, you'll be invested in the dunya. 
in this worldly life. You'll have all those things. You'll be amazed by those things and you will strive for those things. From the beauty of the dunya and those things which are beautified from the uh, the Prophet ﷺ meant Zahra to dunya. You know, from, from the, like the beautiful rose, the, that which is beautiful in the dunya. Wazinataha. And its beauty. Those things which are beautified. And this is agreed upon in Bukhari and Muslim. Ahabatifillah. This shows us that the dunya can be deceptive. And the Prophet ﷺ feared for us this opening up of the dunya. And if you travel around the Muslim societies, because those of us who grew up in non-Muslim societies, we have certain expectations, certain things we believe to be the norm in those Muslim societies. But when you travel and you see how the love of this worldly life corrupts even the hearts of the believers and corrupts and spreads throughout the land where people leave their religion, where people come, become far from the religion for simply a pair of beautiful shoes because they want the latest iPad, because they want, you know, they, they're so immersed in those things. They become saddened, they uh, commit suicide, they fight, they kill, they rob for these things of the dunya at the expense of their akhira. Then you really get a chance to see the corruption of the dunya, that it affects their mannerisms as a, a, in the smallest way, it'll at least affect their mannerisms. That if someone is barely in, in, in involved in the dunya, no matter how religious he or she may appear on the outside, and how nice and beautiful their speech is, their external speech, what's in their heart will be manifested on their limbs as well. And often it's from the corruption of the dunya. It's from those things which have been beautified for them to where they will fight you about a piece of property you accidentally scratched. You harmed their car and they curse and they attack you because of the dunya. It's the corruption of this life. So we ask that Allah Jal replaces that love we have for this life and the amazement of this life replaces it in our hearts with love for him in his religion wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam